Two other applications for linear equations are with money-related problems and simple interest. In these applications, recall the formula for interest and to separate the number of pieces and the amount. Welcome to Mathematics of Engineering. Starting off with money-related problems, here is example number one. A couple does not wish to spend more than $700 for dinner at a restaurant. If a sales tax of 6% is added to the bill and they plan to tip 15% after the tax has been added, what is the most they can spend for the meal? Let's denote M for the price of the couple's meal. The sales tax is given as 6%, making the whole price equal to 1.06M. Another states that they plan to give a tip after the tax has been added, which would result to 0.15 of 1.06M. In order to get the amount of meal they had, integrate all the givens into 700. That will be the meal with tax plus tip or 1.06M plus 0.15 of 1.06M is equal to 700. This will be simplified as 1.219M is equal to 700. And by dividing both sides by 1.219, the value of M is computed as $574.25. An alternative solution is to integrate the total amount as 1.15 of 1.06 of the meal price, and this is equated to 700. By dividing both sides by 1.15 and 1.06, M still ends as $574.25. The second money-related problem states, a man is paid $200 for each day he works and for fits $50 for each day he is idle. At the end of 25 days, he nets $4,500. How many days did he work? This time, let's denote D as the days the man worked and K the days he was idle. The problem states that the number of days to consider is 25 days. This will include the days he worked and those times he was idle, so D plus K is equal to 25. To extract K, we transpose D to the other side, getting the equation K is equal to 25 less D. And take these as equation 1. Next, check the salary. A man is paid $200 for each day he works and for fits 50 for each day he is idle. This translation will be considered equation 2. By substituting the first equation to the second, we would have 200d less 50 times 25 less d is equal to 4500. And expanding terms, we get 200d less 1250 plus 50d is equal to 4500. Now rearrange terms. 250d is equal to 5750. And by dividing each side by 250, D is solved as 23. The man worked for 23 days. Another money-related problem is stated as Chris has 56 coins consisting of 10 peso and 5 peso coins. If she has a total of 440 pesos, how many coins of each type does she have? We denote T as the number of 10 peso coin and F as the number of 5 peso coins. The number of coins is given in the first statement saying that T plus F is equal to 56. By extracting one variable, say F, transpose T to the other side making the equation F is equal to 56 less T. Take these as equation 1. The amount of coins has been discussed as equal to 440. Consider this as equation 2. By substituting the first equation to equation 2, we would get 10t plus 5 times 56 less t is equal to 440. Then distribute the multiplier to expand the equation and we end up with 10t plus 280 less 5t is equal to 440. Now rearrange terms so the resulting equation is simplified as 5t is equal to 160. By dividing both sides by 5, we get t 
or the number of 10 peso coin as 32. Now replace T as 32 in equation 1. So we would have F is equal to 56 less 32. Then the number of 5 peso coin is computed as 24. Let's move to simple interest problems. Recall that the formula for simple interest is given as the principal amount multiplied by the interest rate and time, or PRT. Let's solve the first problem. A retired government employee invested 25000 of his retirement pay at 16% per annum. He found another investment opportunity at 20% per annum where he invested the rest of his retirement pay. If he realized a total yearly income of 19% on his two investments, what was his retirement pay? Let's denote R as the retirement pay and I as interest. The interest for the first investment is given as 25,000 multiplied by the interest rate of 16%, which can be computed as 4,000. The interest of the second investment is also given as the rest of his retirement pay multiplied by 20% per annum interest, and this will be equation 1. The yearly income of the two investments can be computed as the summation of interest 1 and 2 as 19% of the investments. Take this as equation 2. By substituting the first interest of 4,000 and equation 1 into equation 2, we arrive at 4,000 plus R less 25,000 times 0.2 times 1 is equal to 0.19R. By expanding terms, we simplify the equation as 4,000 plus 0.2R less 5,000 is equal to 0.19R. And by arranging terms, we arrive at 0.01R is equal to 1,000. Again, dividing both sides by 0 0.01, we can find the total retirement invested as 100,000. The second simple interest problem states, a man speculating in real estate invested $300,000 in two land developments. One investment yields 12%, and the yearly income from this is $3,600 more than the other investment, which yields 18%. How much was the total annual income? Let us denote R sub 1 as 12%, R sub 2 for 18%, X will be the first investment, and Y as the second investment. The first statement discusses the investment's total as 300000 By extracting a variable, this case y, we transpose x to the other side and have y is equal to 300,000 less x. This is equation 1. The second statement discusses the comparison of the interests, stating the income for the first investment is 3,600 more than the second. If we convert interest in the basic interest formula, we can write PRT of 1 is equal to PRT of 2 plus 3,600. Then changing P as X and Y and R as R1 and R2 as denoted, we come up with X times 0.12 times 1 is equal to Y times 0.18 times 1 plus 3600. So simplifying and rearranging terms, we arrive at 0.12X minus 0.18Y is equal to 3600. Consider this as equation 2. By substituting equation 1 into equation 2, we can eliminate y and have 0.12x minus 0.18 of 300,000 less x is equal to 3,600. Expand the terms and get 0.12x minus 54,000 plus 0.18x is equal to 3,600. And arrange terms to have 0.3x is equal to 57,600 which will eventually be computed as X, given as $192,000. When we replace X as $192,000 in equation 1, we get Y is equal to $300,000 less $192,000, which can be simplified as Y is equal to $108,000. So, Answering the required, the total income will be the summation of the two interests, which can be computed as PRT1 plus PRT2. And by plugging the values, we arrive at 192,000 times 0 0.12 plus 108,000 times 0 0.18, which can be computed as $42,480.
The third example is the following. A sum of money of simple interest amounted to $7,800 after 5 years and $8,840 after 9 years. Find the amount of money after 15 years. Let's take P as the principal amount. In 5 years, the principal turned $7,800, which means that the principal has increased due to interest. Equating interest in terms of principal, we can take it as P plus PR times 5 is equal to 7,800. Consider these as equation 1. After 9 years, the investment became 8,840. Using the same principle, we can take P plus PR times 9 is equal to 8,840. Have this as equation 2. If we use elimination, a variable should be eliminated, thus we multiply equation 1 by 9 to have 9P plus 45PR is equal to 70,200. This will be equation 1A. Similarly, multiply equation 2 by 5 to get 5P plus 45PR is equal to 44,200. This is equation 2. By subtracting equation 2A from 1A, we eliminate R. 9P minus 5P is 4P. 45PR will cancel out. 70,200 less 44,200 is 26,000. And dividing both sides by 4, P is then computed as $6,500. Replace P taken as 6,500 in equation 1 to get 6,500 plus 6,500 times R times 5 is equal to 7,800. Arrange terms to get 32,500R is equal to 1,300. Divide each side to get R, which is going to be equal to 0 0.04. Then solve for P after 15 years, taken as 6,500 plus 6,500 times 0 0.04 times 15, which becomes $10,400 in 15 years.